60 to 70 kilometers per second. Now, they're very infrequent compared to the asteroids, but one of a given size will be much more damaging because of that high speed of entry compared to the asteroid. Yeah, okay. And I appreciated your visual that you uh, that you showed us at the beginning. It kind of gives us a, uh, a sense of the scope there. Uh, I've, I know that there's a recent comet that was discovered in January uh, that was looking like it was going to have a near miss with Mars, and it would have been a devastating event for it had that you know impacted the Earth, kind of a dinosaur killing type type of event. And as I recall, it was two years is what the uh, you know estimated impact time would be. Of course, we know it's going to miss it now. In, if that had been uh, if that had been directed toward Earth in two years, is there realistically anything we could have done? It would be very difficult. Probably not. Is that true? Yeah. So can you give me an idea? And I know you're speculating, but I mean, what what? How much time do we need? Do we need ten years? Do we need twenty? Do we need eight? I mean, how long do we need before we could actually do something, even if we detected an object that was going to impact the Earth? I think with 10 years, you can do this in a controlled manner um, um, with, with backups and so on. Um, certainly with 20 years, you could do that. Uh, it gets much more difficult the closer in it is, and that's, the, that's again the importance of getting early warning, because the closer it in is to you, the more you need to deflect it by to get it to miss. Yeah. And so it gets, it gets much, much harder the earlier, uh, the less warning you have. Let's put that aside, that consideration of the energy to deflect it. In two years from now, could we, are we technologically capable of launching something that could intercept it? And Dr. Heron, you seem to be shaking your head no. Uh, no. If we had spacecraft plans on the books already, that would take a year. I mean, a, a typical small mission, like a Discovery class mission, takes four years from approval to start to launch. Okay, now a, a, a really accelerated military program would be faster than that, but that's a couple of years still. Yeah. Um, and you would have to have something ready to launch, basically, if you wanted to do it on very short notice. 10 years, 20 years, then you've got time to plan it. Five years or less, it's really hard. Very unless you've thought the problem through and designed things maybe have components built, maybe yeah. have a full system, but... Because what we need, we have nothing like this right now. We're not taking an exe existing weapon system or existing vehicle and modifying it. We're really starting from scratch to do this, true? Well, you would try to use it from existing components. I mean, you, you could, you would, if you're going to do a kinetic impact, you might scale up what was done for deep impact, larger launch vehicle, larger impactor, and things like that. So it's not quite starting from scratch, but it's starting from a pretty low point. Yeah, okay, and then we'll ask a question. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm out of time. I'd love to talk with you further, but uh, appreciate you again, you being here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.